Good day, viewers. You're welcome to our interview segment on crime fighters. Today, we are in the office of the Commissioner of Police, Kogi State, Ibezimako Aranya. Thank you very much for having us, sir. Thank you for coming. I'm okay. Grateful. Kogi State is the gateway to so many states around you, surrounding you. We have um, the north, we have from, um, Edo, we have, you name it. How have you been able to curb the spate of robbery along these routes? Uh, Kogi State is the most difficult state to police in Nigeria. The highways in Kogi State is the longest. When you combine it, it's the longest in the Federation. And even the landmass, we have chieftaincy crisis, we have masquerade crisis, we have clannish crisis, then we have land disputes, then we'll now come and we have robberies on these highways before I came in. But I adopted a particular strategy. The first time I came into this state, I opened an observation post at the abandoned toll gate. And we used it to recover so many vehicles. Most of them were stolen in Abuja, not from my state. Any vehicles stolen from pension, National Pension Commission. All the jeeps, that is uh, SUV vehicles, including the Hilos trucks, this uh, Hilos trucks, that we are stolen in Abuja, uh, in Abuja, and Anambra in particular. I recovered all of them here. We caught all the uh, suspects. They, were, they claimed they used to take it to somewhere in Kanu. And an IG will come and buy it from them at the roundabout. Sometimes they give them 300,000 naira for a jeep, for a big car. The man will cross it over to Burkina Faso, Kotonou, and all the over north. I transferred the case to SARS. But since I did that arrest, there's one of them in Anambra. They know him. They know him. When I arrested his boys here, I made sure we train him and we got him. There was a time this night, two he lost trust in, from Nandesi Kiwe University. I called my boys. I said, look, they've snatched a car. Go and wait. They will pass through this place. You can imagine. You know, that's why they said this is the gateway. Yes. They will pass through this place. And they got the vehicle that same day and got the suspects. Since we did that arrest, the rate of snatching of SUV vehicles in Anambra reduced. On the issue of the robbery between Obila, Okene, Okene Kaba, Kaba Oshoko Shoko. I will still say that it occurs mainly in the night. And before you can take a policeman to go into the bush in the night to look for those robbers when they run into the bush, you must give him a bulletproof jacket. You must give him what we call night vision goggle. This night vision goggle will enable him to see in the dark. But we don't have it. So when I came in, I inherited a vigilante group for Meyati Allah. They call them Meyati Allah. I adopted them and put in mobile policemen into them. And with them now, I was able to arrest most of those robbers that come out in the night from the bush and attack moving vehicle. It was through, through these same people who got some robbers who left Lagos came to Kogi State between Okene and Nukuja. They will put on, they will cut back a sack in form of police camouflage and write police on it. In the night, when they come out and show their chest, you will see police, you stop thinking that it is that bulletproof jacket you are wearing. They will rob you. They do it, run into the bush. And the, the people they rob, came to me and said, will the people in police uniform wrong them in Kogi State? I said, it's a lie. I'm going to find out. So I called that man, Hassan, is his name. He came, I told him, they were in the bush. These people came out two days after. They caught them and killed them there when they were, wanted to escape and recovered the, the fake camouflage they did with Baku Sack. Right, this brings me to my question um, about Illegal arms in this state. It is said that Kogi State houses the largest, um, <laughs> the largest source of illegal arms. What is the cause? Let me tell you the truth. 
proliferation of illegal arms is the problem of African nation. It is not only Nigeria. The entire African nation has problem of control of firearms. At times, when this Western power starts accusing us of so many things, we don't manufacture AK-47. We don't manufacture K-2. We don't manufacture proper action in Africa. But they say this is to us without making sure that the government of any nation monitors the movement of these arms. The whole African nation has problem of intelligence in monitoring the movement of arms like the Israelis. It is not only in Nigeria, and it is not only in Kogi State. But coming down to our state, politicians are the greatest culprit. They are the ones. I always want to face them, politicians. I want to go and debate with politicians in this country. They are the ones who arm these boys during campaigns. They buy AK-47 for them. They buy pump action for them. They give the money to go and manufacture locally made arms. After the election, they will no longer be able to retrieve it from these boys. But the IG you, has given an order that we should mop these arms up. What yes, is the strategy? Yeah, the strategy is difficult because these arms are not kept in an armory. These arms are no longer in a collected place. They are with individuals. So the only way we can mop up arms is to increase the money for intelligent gathering, to train our plain clothes men to be able to penetrate these political talks and find out where they have kept these individual arms with them. If there is no magic again to mop up these arms. It is after that the government will most devise a means to know the number of ammunitions that come into this town. If we have registered people that sell arms, we should make sure that they have serial number of arms. The only firearms that is not prohibited, muzzle loading, which the CP can give li license limitedly to responsible people, is double barrel shotgun. Pump action is a prohibited firearm. But every vigilante group in our community, they have pump action. And they don't keep it in anywhere. Police don't even know the number. They don't even know the serial number. That means if they use the pump action and kill one governor and drop the pump action, you cannot trace it to anybody. So I am recommending that all those vigilante groups should surrender all their population to the police. Police should create a register, register it serially, and give it to that uh, uh, community. And that community must be able to provide an armory where the arms will be kept after night guard, not for individuals to take it. I was going on a convoy. I saw somebody who was, who was using Bakati as convoy. Some of them were carrying knives. Some of them were carrying bows and arrows. Some of them were tying red something on their hair. The man is a big man, according to him, with Sirene. So he has Bakasi. The other day, somebody used Vizante Group men to go to the banks to escort money in Anambra. And they were caught as Anambra. Man. So you can imagine the rate we have arms in this country. It's not only in Kogi State. But for Kogi State, we are moving gradually. We are finding out, trying to penetrate those boys, trying to penetrate the talks to identify where they kept their arms given to them individually.